See these saw horses? They fold automatically. Yeah. Well, they fold automatically. In other words, they fold when you don't want them to. And they don't fold when you want them to. So I'm going to make them permanent. I need something more beefy. A lame saw horse can kill a man. Ow. That didn't hurt. How? Oh, you want to see the fan work? Yeah. You see it open? Cool. You see it open in there? Yeah, okay. and it spins. I was going to change directions and go the other way. Hmm. Okay, so now it's like an air out. Okay. You need this? Yeah. So you just saved me 30 seconds. Yeah. This thing is heavy. It's three quarter inch marine grade. You need my help? I'm not going to kill myself all by myself. Let me. Do you have chalks or anything under this thing? Oh, I forgot about that. You want me to go get them? I've seen them. Got the parking brake on. Like that? Yep. Just set them there? I care about your safety. Now I need some real drill bits. I need my step drill. What else? Going to the barn. A step drill you drill a normal hole this size and then you can just go whatever exact what are you doing i need you being camera oh no down so it's multiple drill bits on one you drill the first hole and then you can go in the quarter inch this one is in 16th inch increments so eight millimeter it's about five five sixteenths so that's the step I went through. What times pi? <laughs> pi is involved. There are circles here. Pi is the circle constant. But tau is the better circle constant. And let me tell you why. <laughs> if you were a, a caveman and you had a wheel and you wanted to measure a circle, you would say, okay, one of the measurements is the circumference and one of the measurements is the di diameter. You wouldn't think about the center. So the circle constant pi is the ratio of the circumference to the diameter. That's, that was pi. But if you were going to feel, if, if you were the kid of the universe, It's not hard. It's really it's interesting. Just, it's interesting? I think it is. What are you interested in? Leather bags and old antiques. I was at the grocery store today and I said, where is everybody? And she said, I guess they're at home and they're going to come out later to buy stuff for the Super Bowl. I said, oh, the Super Bowl's going on. I didn't know anything about this. This is not something I'm interested in. So, so you, you're you, in you know, the average person is interested in the Super Bowl. I'm interested in Tau versus Pi. And you don't mind the whole bunch of our 23 subscribers knowing what a geek you are. That's okay. I love him. He's my geek. Probably a math. I'm not getting anything done. I'm just sitting here talking to you. You'll do it. I would be halfway done if we weren't. I'm here much. to make your life easier. <laughs> <laughs> so the problem is there's a big rib here and I can't drill a hole there because I can't access, can't put a bolt, a nut on, on the other side. But I can see the welds right here. See the welds right there? Yeah. That is a rib underneath, so I can't drill a hole here. I want it back far as, as I can go to be on the edge of the plywood. But there's a rib there, and I can't access a nut on the other side, so it's going to have to be here. Here's the center.
So there we go. You're going to cover up our tape that says what our layout is. Oh, about the layout. Okay. So I was thinking, here is currently the shower. Yeah. Three foot by two foot. Here's another three foot by two foot square is going to be our kitchen. If I put the shower here, then it's on the side with all the water. This side will have electricity. This side will have water. If I put the shower over here, then I've got to run the pipes up and over, or I've got to make a way through the floor to do it. So if you put the shower on this side. So if side, I put the shower here. Where's the sink for the kitchen? Here. So you're still going to so, have to run water. Damn you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I saw this. I saw this hack online where you take your sock and you take a magnet and you put your magnet in a sock, okay? okay? Like that. And then you go around here to all these metal shavings. Oh, look at that. And you pick it all up. So now when you put your sock back on, it'll just be <laughs> lots and lots of uh, metal splinters. Now that's a really good idea. Why would you need okay, this sock? Okay, now to get to dump them, you Hold just on. take your magnet out. And they go away. Yeah, they, don't, they don't really, but they kind of do. Well, you know, you could do that with a, a piece of fabric that you're not going to put back on your foot. Yeah. This guy did it in a sock, but now that I think about it, it was probably an old sock. Yeah. And yeah. not a gold tip Rogers special sock. And now you got to put that thing back on and make sure you got no splinters on. You need a designated sock. Did you see a picture of Keith Carter's sock? Yeah. <laughs> Was that the most disgusting thing you've ever seen? <laughs> yeah. Someone suggested that they put a rubber band around it and get it, another year out. just keep going, yeah. Okay. So I need to cut a piece of plywood, and that's going to be hard. You gonna cut it? I'm gonna cut it. And then try to keep that from hanging up. Okay, what am I doing wrong? It looks good to me. Either part of our floor or a hundred and fifty dollar mistake. Okay, that didn't hurt. Sawdust. Once you get the blower on low. And blow it that way while I'm doing it. Let's go back there and blow it this way towards, towards the wind. So how are we going to get this in the van? We're going to lift it through the door. Who's going to be in and who's going to be out? <laughs> Um, Six dozen one, half another. I don't. I can. I can go on the inside. Plus, that puts me further from the camera, so I look less big. And you're closer to the camera, and you look more big. Let's just do it. See what happens. Just set it on there, then climb up in. Set the corner in. Now we got to watch not to scrape anything. Watch the chair. Okay, and you got more room back here on your right. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, now get out. You got it? Kinda. Okay. So next, I'm gonna go under and drill holes, but it can't move. Once I drill the first hole, oh, it's gotta stay. You may sit on it? Good idea. Okay. 
when you need a weight to sit on something, just get your wife. You said that. I, I know didn't. I did. I said it, didn't I? So are we painting this floor? Yes. So we're going to paint it while it's out? Yeah. We're going to drill it all and get it, take it out and then put the other piece in and get it all perfect and then we'll pull it all out and paint it. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now one in front. Perfect. Okay, now this one right here. Okay, let me move. Except I'm not going to be able to do that. I can't get my bit in there. I'm going to go do the other side. I can only get a little bit. So when you drilled through, you marked it. You marked the spot on the wood. That's how you know where to drill that hole. No, I drilled a little divot. So I'm just going back. All I could get the drill bit in is so a little. So it marked a spot. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. And that's because you don't have a long enough drill bit. Yeah. So I got my hole. I got my four holes. So now I'm going to make these holes bigger, and then I'm going to countersink them so this sits down inside it so it's flush. And something like this. Okay, so there'll be a big, I need to get a gigantic. Yeah, almost a hole saw. It doesn't go all the way through, right? Right. I don't think, see, that's not going to be big enough. I think I'm going to have to go to the store.